Hey, this is Michael Griffiths from Sports Turf. I've been in the turf industry 40 years in business, uh, 47 years doing anything and everything to do with turf, golf course, athletic fields, stadiums, residential homes, and uh, kind of have my certain feelings on certain things from my experience. So um, I'm going to shout out to you about one thing in particular, and that's moles. So people post on Facebook all these special things they should do chewing gum, castor oil. And here, here's the deal. None of that stuff works as effective as using the right product at the right time. Um, moles eat 65% of our body weight. Can you imagine you and me eating 65% of our body weight every day? They digest in about two and a half hours. They eat about 90% earthworms, which are our natural air fires, which is good for turf. And when they eat earthworms, they're pretty much blind, so they kind of go by smell, and they're going to go to about 100, 150 feet a day. One of the, a good way to get them is uh, with mechanical traps, um, but that's something that takes a lot of time, and, you, and a lot of times you got to take them out of the ground, and I don't want to be dealing with dead animals and stuff, and I never have. So what I use is I basically use two different products that you have that license for, that basically mimics their food source, which is worms, earthworms. Um, I diagnose where their primary runs are because they're going to go to 100, 150 feet a day traveling all over your lawn, tearing up turf. And so what I do is I basically diagnose where their primary runs are as opposed to their secondary runs. And uh, I apply two different types of baits that, um, you know, like I said, you have to have a license for. Um, I have tried some of the things that are over the counter because um, I looked at a, a cost effective method to improve my bottom line. And unfortunately, when I used all those different products, um, I had to go back and do stuff twice. The last 40 years, I traveled about a five and a half hour window uh, servicing clients. I don't do callbacks, I don't do work twice, get paid once. So, those few times with different customers that I tried, um, a number of those multiple things that are available over the counter it just really pissed me off. And I went back to using things that I got trained on 20 years ago that have worked great for me um, for two decades now. So that's what I use. So basically, I, primer, I, I diagnose the primary runs as opposed to secondary runs. And in most cases, with my homeowners, I'm usually one and done with an application. Um, but castor oil, chewing gum, and holes. I saw earlier on Facebook somebody's put hair in holes, um, those little solar emitters. They don't make me laugh because it's misinformation. And, you know, I'm real. I keep it real. I shoot people straight. And that stuff just pisses me off. You know, everybody says go buy Scott's Crop X, eat grubs. Yeah, they eat a little bit of grubs. But if 90% of the diet is earthworms, why would you put Grub X down? The other thing is grubs. They actually go down in the soil at sometimes they eat part, different parts of the year, and then they come up. I went to Rutgers up in New Brunswick. It's one of the best turf schools in the country. Our entomologists up there on our turf farms who experiment and learn and treat and develop things, they didn't get any control when grubs were up eating now. We can't kill them now because they're not actively eating enough where they take in the chemicals that we would provide them to kill them. So the only time we can really kill them is when they come up in the summertime. So putting grub back down any time of the year it's completely irrelevant for mole control. But that's what everybody sees, and they just repeat and regurgitate what they see on the Internet, and it's, it's just a myth, and it just pisses me off. So that's why I'm going to start shooting some videos like this, just to uh, shoot straight and educate people, because as you can see, I ain't got time to be typing all this stuff out. It's kind of a joke. But anyway, like I said, my company, Spores Turf, if you see this video, you'll probably see um, my link below. Spores Turf, Lawn and Pest Control and uh, home services and you know a lot of things I can help you out with and shoot you straight and you know you'll be pretty happy in most cases thanks talk to you later